welcome back to our channel low point and this is anisha babu in 2019 a total of 437396 road accidents were recorded across india in which 1.5 lakh people died that means in 2019 around 414 people died daily only because of road accidents So today we are going to discuss whom to approach in India in case of road accidents and the procedures to follow while filing your claim petition before the concerned authority. Who is a concerned authority and what are the procedures involved will be explained by a Supreme Court of India advocate on record Ms Prasina Elizabeth Joseph. So let's watch. Hi friends in the unfortunate event that you meet with an accident you need to note down the number of the vehicle involved in the accident. or take photos of the vehicle if you can thereafter approach the nearest police station and file a complaint stating exactly what happened when the accident took place after registering the fir the vehicles involved in the accident will be taken into custody by the police both vehicles will then be inspected by the inspector of motor vehicle and after the inspection the vehicles will be released If police after investigation finds that the accident was caused intentionally or occurred due to rash and negligent driving then they will proceed to criminal court against the accused for the criminal offence committed For example in 2002 when actor Salman Khan's car rammed into a bakery in Mumbai killing one and injured four criminal case was filed against him for rash and negligent driving After the accident to receive compensation the third party victim can approach motor accident claims tribunal each district in india has a motor accident claims tribunal to provide speedy remedy to the victims of motor vehicle accident to obtain fair compensation the motor accident claims tribunal can be called macd in short the claim petition can be entertained by any one of the following three macds the macd which is having jurisdiction over the area in which the accident occurred or the macd under whose jurisdiction the claimant resides or carries on business that macd under whose jurisdiction the accused who caused the accident resides so if a man from bangalore is on a tour to chennai and happens to hit a third party vehicle in chennai then the third party can file a claim petition either in chennai or in bangalore we will now see who can file a claim petition before macd it can be filed by the insured person or his duly authorized agent if insured person is no more because of the accident then by his legal representatives or agent duly appointed by the legal representatives of the deceased or if the insured is a minor then the legal guardian of the minor There is no time limit for filing motor vehicle accidents claim but an unusual delay will make the tribunal demand an explanation while filing the claim petition following documents should accompany the claim petition copy of the fir or the final report registered in connection with said accident disability certificate issued by the doctor showing the disability caused on account of accident then original bills of medical expenses copy of the post mortem report or death report of the deceased as the case may be identification document of the claimants educational qualification of the victim if he was not working salary certificate of the victim in case he was working then document showing the age of the victim like birth certificate aadhar card etc then third party insurance policy copy in case the victim died then an affidavit detailing the relationship of the claimant with the deceased etc before the macd it is not necessary that you need to prove any fault or negligence on the driver's part you just have to prove that accident occurred and you got injured as a result of the accident during assessment of compensation there is a possibility of difference from judge to judge in applying the various principles enunciated by the court from time to time the courts over the time have taken various factors while determining just compensation some of them are age of the victim his marital status education and employment of the victim loss of financial benefits 
and some amount of sympathy linked with the nature of disability caused. The MACT can even direct simple interest on the compensation amount from the date of filing of the claim petition. For example, the Malayali actor Jagdi Srikuma was paid 5.6 crores of rupees as accident compensation. This amount was arrived at after considering the actor's age when the accident occurred, the film contracts he had signed at the time of accident, his annual income tax, treatment expenses, etc. When a road accident compensation is awarded, the insurance company of the accused vehicle pays the compensation within 30 days of the order. If the insurance company is not liable to pay compensation because of certain exclusion clauses, then the owner of the vehicle who caused the accident need to pay compensation from his pocket to the third party. Since this may delay the payment of compensation to the victims, to protect the victims, the court directs the insurance company of the accused vehicle to pay compensation to victims on behalf of the accused. However, the right has been given to the insurance company to recover the said amount from the owner of the vehicle who caused the accident. Now, there are hit and run cases where after the accident, the accused runs away and you cannot identify the vehicle details. Then, there is a provision where victims will be paid compensation by the government through legal service authority. That is called Victim Compensation Scheme under Section 357A of the Code of Criminal Procedure. Before winding up, I would like to ask you all, when you see a road accident, do you hesitate in taking the injured to hospital, worrying about the legal formalities involved? Please be rest assured, the government instructed police and hospitals not to trouble people providing emergency help. So, by all means, please take such an injured person to hospital and you can leave immediately and you will not be accountable for any civil or criminal liability. Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you next week.